All right, so I have a uh, update on the whole body armor situation. Um, this uh, Spartan armor plate carrier was way too small for me. Um, there, I kind of had a feeling it was going to be because my shirt size is two X, three X, and this was, um, you know, labeled as an XL. But in their web, on their website, it said that. It fit a, um, you know, multiple, um, bo different body types, and, uh, that's not the case, you know, if you're skinny, it'll fit you, if you're really skinny, it'll fit you even better, that's the only way this is going to fit, um, you know, I myself weigh 260, and I have muscle and fat, but, um, so it kind of was, like, really, really small, so, I went back on, uh, Spartan's website, and I was looking around, and almost, I wanted something like this, um, again, because I wanted to keep my side plates, but the only issue I was having with that is everything that looked like this, that was, you know, 2X all the way adjustable up to 4X, only took 11 by 14 plates, so I didn't want to have to spend, uh, I believe it was on over, a little over $400 for new plates, um, the carrier, and then 11 by 14 trauma pads. You know, I already had all this stuff in here, so I only really just wanted to change the plate carrier to make it fit me. So, I was looking around on that, couldn't find any. Um, and before I bought this RTS tactical one, I was looking at the Hydra XL from Spartan. And just didn't like it. Again, it only took 11 by 14 plates, but, um... So what I'm going to do right now is just take the plates, the front uh, back plates and the trauma pads out of this, put it into this, and see how well that fits me. I did try this on before the plates were in to make sure it fit. It fits perfect, but um, obviously with the plates in there, it might be a little bit tighter, but um, we're going to see. But anyway, um, the whole story of this is I was looking online, and the... The looks of this instantly caught my eye because of, you know, the logos and stuff here. I did get this patch for an extra $10. And then the cool part is that it comes with this little uh, patch here. And it has this uh, soft webbing stuff in the back, the back of this, and up on the uh, shoulder pad. So that's supposed to be really comfortable. But, um... For now, I had the uh, base coat plates, and I was watching because my original plan was to just get the base coat plates and then get a spall sleeve, but I started watching uh, more videos on spall sleeve tests, and none of them were uh, good enough to convince me that they'll work. You know, pistol calipers. You know, it worked pretty good, but once they brought out the rifle calipers, you know, the small sleeve just kind of, like, started shredding right away. So, that's one thing. If you're going to get body armor, something, you know, it's something you can't really cheap out on. So, I'm going to run with these plates for now, and then, um, really, really soon, I'm going to end up getting the, uh, full coat plates with the fragmentation mitigation and the triple curve just to make it a little bit more comfortable and another thing that draw me drew me to uh this rts tactical it's very very easy to get it on and off pull these out you pull one out throw it over you pop it back in done or you can just undo both of them hurry up take it off do whatever you got to do <clears throat> and this one uh these Side things go under here, but to get this, there's a Velcro thing there. So once you actually have this on and set up, you have to reach in between your stomach and the plate carrier when you have it on to get that back under there. And that um, was my issue. Obviously, this thing fit but it wasn't comfortable enough for me to breathe um, as good as I wanted to with it on. And I also, I couldn't reach in between my stomach and this to get this back up in there. So 
and then you just take that. It comes with these two uh, things here, which I'm pretty sure are just for handles, so you can do that while uh, the front of this is still velcroed down like that. That works fine. One thing I will say about this is this Velcro is like the strongest type of Velcro I've ever felt in my life. So I'm probably not going to be able to do this with uh, one hand. So I'm going to get the plates out real quick. So I got the plates out. I got the uh, drama pads out. And the side note, these plates are flat. They're not the single curve or the triple curve. So, um... What that was doing is I'll show you after, but um, obviously with that plate carrier being too small, also I was kind of pushing the plate where my stomach is at an angle. I was pushing it out, so if anything were to hit that plate, with it not being completely straight, um, any ricochet or whatever would have came straight up into my face or underneath my uh, chin. So yeah, let's see. If all this stuff is going to fit in here, this uh, trauma pad kind of looks like it's going to be really uh, squished in there. So, we'll uh, see if that fits. Let me try getting this in and I'll uh, let you know if it fit. All right, that's all in in. You can see right here, there's a little bit of room left uh, where the plate is on that side, and this side there's none. So it looks like this uh, might slosh around a little bit. That's usually what kind of happens, but um, I don't know. This in front of this uh, material here doesn't really feel all that rugged compared to the uh, Spartan Armor one. So that has me a little concerned right now, but um, you can also see on the corner there the uh, trauma pad sticks out a little bit. Also on this side, and then on the back through all this stuff, you can see that you can see the trauma pad through it. Um, so those are, uh, fit really really good. No issues there. So I'm going to do the back one. And then I'm going to uh, throw it on and check the fitment. Alright, so I have it on. And um, you can see right away what I was talking about before is how my stomach kind of kicks the bottom of the plate out this way and kind of makes it crooked. It should be more like that. Um, I have to play around with these, uh, shoulder straps and also because of the back plate needs to be lifted up more, uh, towards like where the back of my, uh, shoulders are. And then, uh, this is where you typically want these is right where you feel this little soft spot there where your collarbone ends. Uh, that's where you want the front plate, but the whole, um, idea behind this uh, sleek 2.0 carrier is, is supposed to be concealable um you know underneath a heavy jacket or possibly a kind of baggy hoodie or something so i'm going to test both of those uh, in a second i have my 3x uh, hoodie over here and my 3x winter coat i'm going to throw both of those on and uh see if you can see them uh underneath so far um obviously without the side plates this thing's uh way lighter than my spartan armor one and so far this one's pretty comfortable seems like uh something that i could wear for you know hours and hours if i had to the only thing right now is my back it does kind of hurt but um spartan armor one didn't make my back hurt at all so like i said i might have to just uh you know adjust it but let me go uh throw my hoodie on and i'll come back and 
Uh, see how it is. Yeah, got the hoodie on, and honestly, besides seeing you know where it velcros on all four points, um, those were a little bit more uh, thinner and flatter. You honestly wouldn't really be able to tell. Um, my shoulders, you can't really tell. There's you know those thick uh, straps underneath it, and um. Like I said, it's, you know, it's got the points there, so, you know, you'd um, definitely be able to look at this right away and tell what I had on underneath. But, um, you know, I do want to invest in some uh, soft body armor just to make it a little bit more concealable. I really want the uh, soft body armor shirt from Spartan. The one that's it's kind of like a uh, a dry fit compression shirt, like one of those moisture wicking ones, and you can put uh, level three A soft body armor in it, and that's supposed to be really really concealable, depending on uh, body type. Again, if I wasn't, you know, uh, the body type I am, this would be way more concealable than uh, what it is, but um. Which sucks, because, you know, I used to weigh 100 pounds less. I was weighed 180 pounds. Like I said, I was a uh, bodybuilder for many, many years. And then, you know, just life caught up with me. And really am trying to lose, you know, a um, good amount of weight. Like I said, at least 100 pounds. I'd be happy with 60. I'd be happy if I weighed 200. So I'm going to keep the Spartan Armor uh, plate carrier as a backup. Um, just like I said, get some more uh, 10 by 12 plates for that. And, um, you know, if I do end up losing weight, that should be able to fit. So I'll keep that as a backup. And then um, at some point, like I said, I really do like this uh, RTS one. So I'll get a one that will actually fit me if I do end up losing weight. So let me go uh, throw my winter coat on. And uh, right, winter coat is on. And you literally cannot see anything at all can't even tell that i'm wearing this um i can't tell from the back obviously because i don't know what's back there but if it's this concealable in the front i'm pretty sure the back is going to be same thing but um so is the uh sleek uh 2.0 plate carrier concealable yes to a Point. like I said your body type if you're skinny uh, you're gonna get away with concealing it a lot better than you know us bigger guys but with this uh, thick heavy coat um, you know depending on your body type you should be fine either way so uh, so right now RTS tactical is the win in my book um, you know regardless of the whole size difference so um so that's my uh, update on the body armor, also the comparison between Spartan armor and the RTS tactical. So hopefully this will help you narrow down your uh, decision. And um, you know, I might have some more uh, armor videos. I do want to get a helmet. And if I do end up getting that soft uh, body insert shirt from Spartan, which is around, I think, $360 around there. So, might not be soon, soon. But, um, I do want to try getting it before spring and summer. So, uh, stay tuned for more videos.